Hello and welcome back to the Lewis Phillips Guitar Channel and today we're going to be listening to a song from Starset called Leaving This World Behind. The last Starset song that I listened to a couple of weeks ago, it was doing really well, I was smashing it and then it got blocked randomly three hours into uh, being uploaded. I then had to wait two days for it to go back up and obviously that just completely killed the video. I mean it still did pretty well for me so I'm happy with that but I'm hoping that the same thing won't happen this time. If the music video is either blurred or it's reversed or whatever I've done to it to make sure that it stays unblocked then that's what I've had to do. Without further ado, let's go. Photo sensitivity warning, you heard it here first. My guy running, retro looking TV. Will it carry on from the other video that we had up? Let's, let's find out. Ooh. A lot heavier than the last one kind of gave a little bit of like a, a fake intro with that kind of like xylophone-esque first three notes and then bang straight in with like the heavy guitar and the heavy bass. I love the arpeggio kind of effect in the background and the vocals there and that keyboard really soft, just floating even in the background. I really like that keyboard in the background. Just listen to it, it's just kind of din, 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 din. Really nice and soothing. The chorus, very, like you can tell the rhyming scheme is very, I don't want to say basic, but um, you know, you, you can almost guess what word they're going to say next to it. But I just like the heavy impact that this song has got. And it's, it's for quite fast pace as well at the moment, like there's a lot going on. I feel like the verse was quite short and we're straight into the chorus. Let's keep going. <laughs> Stops. I do like the verse, it's like very simple. When you're listening to this, it wants you to take focus to the actual lyrics. That's why all of the instrumental is quite faded in the background and the lyrics are like taken over, or the vocals are taken over quite a lot. And then obviously then when you get into the chorus, the instruments kind of like gain volume and then it's more of like a oomph kind of noise. It's more full. I mean, that's what a chorus is really. You, that's what you want. You want like the hard hitting chorus. But the transitions between the chorus and the verse are really good. And I do like the kind of change in pace and slowing down for the verses. <laughs> got like the actual breakdown or like the musical accompaniment which is like dun, 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 that kind of jagged effect but also in the background you've got like a high pitch rise which is just kind of making you feel like it's about to drop even more let's see if it does see there it is and it's a little more shimmery now oh, oh, this is good i like this this is really good That went in. I wasn't like a proper full-on reach the top and fall back down to earth kind of uh, 
breakdown, but uh, I just like that it did actually change up to a second cut part of the breakdown. Sometimes I'm like, is that a guitar? Is that just really dirty bass? Like, I can't tell the difference. And it's probably both to be honest with you, but they're just so good at like, blending and merging them together. That's what I like about Star Set. Now we've got the nice kind of orchestral, orchestra, violins He's charging up, I just realized. Ooh, what do I think of that? Yeah, that was a that was a pretty decent song. Came out of nowhere, which is uh, really cool to be fair. With the music video just being Doctor Who-esque in a way, going for like a time warp or a wormhole or something, I could focus on the lyrics a lot more. Oh, the song, sorry. I feel like that was not a filler song on the album, but it didn't as hit me as much with the other one. I felt like there was more going on with the other one, there was more put into it, while this was like fairly straightforward. The chorus was nice and I really liked the breakdown, I really liked the grittiness of that. I'm really trying to appreciate the star set at the moment, like the things in the background, like you can hear so much stuff, like the obvious stuff that they want you to listen to, but like all the other like synth effects that they got going on in the background as well, like the keyboard, like simps, <laughs> simps, I keep saying simps, it's simps. I'm really trying to appreciate that a lot more. As a band, they just throw so much stuff into these songs, so you know, I mean, look, that's that's my first reaction to it. If I listen to it a couple more times, I'm probably going to pick up on a lot more stuff as well. It doesn't feel like it was that long ago since they brought the other one out. So, like, they are chucking these songs out here, left, right, and centre. So, obviously, they're bringing the album out in October 22nd. We probably will see in the next, like, week or two, like, another one, or in the next three weeks, or a week just before the album drops. Either way, I'm excited. It's going really well. Looking forward to what else they've got. As I said, I think The Breach is the strongest song compared to this one. But this one was still good and it still had like a heavier feel to it in a way, I think, with especially with like the chugginess of the breakdown and the, the high impact of the intro. Anyway, guys, please tell me what you think. What did you think about this song? Do you think it's better than The Breach? Do you think it offers something else? Have I completely missed the point of it? There was obviously no follow-up from the last music video. It was just like the guy looking in the TV and then comes back out. But he's still got the three dots on his head, so it will all sync up, I presume. Other than that, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. See you later.